In this program, I am going to show you how you can print the natural numbers in a sequence. Let's say my input natural number is 10. I am going to start printing from 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way till 10. Now, what I am going to do here is I am going to show you how to print natural numbers from 1 to 5. So, I have the main function, and the main function is called by the operating system. So my stack frame or my stack is going to look like this. This is my first activation record or my activation frame or my stack frame. It is going to contain a call to sequence 5. That's all is there in this particular activation record. Now sequence 5 will get called here. So what I am doing here is this is the function you need to really understand. Till I reach 0, I am not doing a return. So this is my stop case or also called as the base case. Now what I am doing is since I am sending 5 here, n is 5, 5 equal to 0 is false. So I will come to the else part. Then I am calling sequence with the value 4, with the value 3, with the value 2, with the value 1. You will understand what I am doing this or why I am doing this once we take a look at this stack frame or the trace. So let me say I am calling the main from the operating system. So the main activation record is going to have the name of the function and it is going to call sequence with the value 5. So when I come to this particular sequence with the value 5, the value of n at this point is going to be 5. Okay. And here you can see the value of n is going to be 5. So since the value of n is 5, this if condition is false, I am going to come here. Now, in the activation frame, I have a call to n minus 1 which is 4 and after this, I have this printf function. Since I have called this function here, this printf is not going to be executed but it just gets saved. Okay, just for conceptual clarity, assume it gets saved. So n was now 4, it goes, it was called with 4. If you see here, this was called with 4. So next time you will see on the left side, it will be sequence of 4. Sequence of 4, in turn this is false, it will come here. This becomes sequence of 3. What was the value of n when it entered the function? It was 4. Printf is not got executed, so it continues to be saved. Something which is not executed, I continue to save. So 3, so next time the sequence is going to be called with 3. And sequence will in turn, 3 is not equal to 0. So sequence will call itself with the value 2 because it's 3 minus 1 is 2. And this printf gets saved. But when entering the function, the value of n was 3. Now, n is 2 when it entered this function. So, sequence of 2 was called. So, when sequence of 2, 2 is equal to 0 is false. Sequence of 2 minus 1, sequence of 1. And this printf gets saved. Then again, sequence of 1 is called. So, here it is sequence of 1. The value of n when it entered this function into a new or the new copy of the function n was 1. Now 1 minus 1 is sequence of 0. So next time in the next copy the value of n happens to be 0. Alright. So since n is 0, I am returning a 0. Alright. I am returning a 0. Since I am returning a 0, I am doing a return and the calculation is complete. This fellow is going to get popped out from the stack. Alright, this fellow gets popped out from the stack. Since he gets popped out from the stack, that means sequence of 0 got executed because that frame was deleted. This function got executed. Now I am going to print the value of n. What is the value of n? It is 1. So 1 gets printed. Now this printf, 1 has got printed, you have come to this flower bracket. So this also gets popped off from the stack. Now I come here. Now next time, sequence of 1 was popped out. So this has already executed. Now I am going to print the value of n. n is 2. So it's after 1, it's printing the value 2. Sequence of 2 activation record is now popped out. So what happens? Sequence of 3 is now active. This sequence of 2 was already calculated. So printf is left. When printf was happening, 3 was the value of n. So now it's going to print 3. Since 3 is printed, this function completes and sequence of 3 gets popped out. Now, since sequence of 3 is calculated, this is done. Now, I am going to do the printf in sequence of 4. In sequence of 4, n is 4. So, I am going to print 4 here. Alright? And this automatically gets popped off. Now, when I say 
come into this sequence of year 4 was already popped out okay so only this printf had to be executed this printf got executed with n equal to 5 so 5 got printed so once 5 was printed this function execution also got over so this also got popped out once i come here then automatically this also pops out and the control goes to the operating system so this is the way i was able to show you how you can print numbers in a sequence using recursion important thing to understand is this particular call i am calling the number and i am since i want to print from 1 to 5 not 5 to 1 that's why i have sequence first and the printf next because the stack frame keeps getting built on top so as the stacks get frames getting get keep getting pushed it will allow me to print from 1 to 5 as i am popping the stack frames so please go and take a look at this particular program code in the description and try to execute it